the program at Vermont is great. We have a, a really great hospital that's a referral center for a large area. It's uh, an academic faculty, works really well together, uh, and it's in a really beautiful location. We have six fellows in total. We, have, uh, we take two fellows per year. What that gets us is a, a much more of a family atmosphere. We get to know our fellows really, really well. Just the way you form close relationships with the faculty within our division, that happens across the board. So you get to know all of the cardiology fellows and you're gonna know all of the GI fellows and you'll know every single IM resident. We have a three-year curriculum and our curriculum is structured so that the first year is very clinically heavy. So in the first year you're doing mostly pulmonary consults, day service in the medical ICU, and then we have a night medical ICU coverage rotation. During second and third year, the amount of research time is increased in each of those two years. And so you gain more responsibility, but then you're also doing more academic endeavors and building your academic credentials in second and third year. It's our job to make sure that they have the resources they need to sort of hit the ground running when they step in as a fellow on day one. You're given a lot of responsibility up front and you're given a lot of room to make your own decisions. Being a smaller program, we have exposure to all of the procedures here. We do all of those procedures ourselves, which helps increase the, the amount of procedures that you're doing and the amount of case exposure that you have. The faculty have an invested goal to get you better. I'm on pulmonary consults right now and I run the show. I do everything. I decide who we're going to see that day, the order. We get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention and opportunity in order to customize our fellowship experience. From a research side of things, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty exceptional. There's a really strong research emphasis. So a lot of the fellows do come here because they're interested in having enough time to dedicate to research that when they come out, they feel like they've created a niche for themselves, an area of expertise. We have a, a research department called the Vermont Lung Center, which is part of the University of Vermont. Um, this is a multidisciplinary research effort that has people from pathology, molecular biology, pulmonary medicine, so a number of different areas that are collaborating on pulmonary research. The fellows have access to um, all of these researchers in the Vermont Lung Center. And we do try to be really thoughtful about providing a range of exposures for the fellows so that as they identify areas of their own interest that we can make sure they have access to whatever it is they need to develop those areas of expertise. We've got fellows this year that have uh, written articles, that have presented at uh, national conferences, um, the American Thoracic Society Conference. We have a, a spoil of riches very often. There's just so many opportunities. So um, in addition to my primary research interests and in, uh, outcomes of ICU patients. I've also been doing some research um, in medical education and cadaver procedural training in conjunction with our simulation lab as well. Um, and also working with the teaching academy at the University of Vermont Medical Center, which uh, partners with the medical school. As far as teaching is concerned, every, every year they send out emails for teaching for ultrasound. Do you want to treat, teach a small group on acid base or anything like that? And if you're interested in that, there is the teaching academy that's connected with the medical school also that bas they basically give you tools um, and teach you how to be a good teacher and that's something that's open and available to anyone in the in the program there's always a huge team of learners the teaching faculty here more or less allow the fellows to explore their interests in teaching and bedside teaching especially and procedural teaching of the residents right at the bedside we're a large academic facility is that we're also tied to a medical school and we're also tied to the university itself. No matter what your interest is, whether it's clinical, whether it's basic science, whether it's education, you have so many different options by being here and you have plenty of experts in their fields to help mentor you and guide you throughout that. The, the really important things in education, in a fellow's education, is having really strong foundations rooted in physiology and critical care concepts and the sort of bread and butter that shows up in the ICU, and I think that we do that really well here. When fellows are here and they go out to other places, they always report back that they're very happy with the quality of their training. They feel well prepared to start their, uh, their career in any number of environments, be it academic environments or private practice environments. And if you have a goal or you have something you want to do, the faculty are going to make it happen for you. There's connections and stuff can, can happen for you here, that's for sure. Just the collegiality of our faculty with our fellows is, is unique and very close. Um, and I, 
I just feel very supported. You're gonna be family when you come here. I think it's really important um, for you to really evaluate what is important in your life and what's important in your career. The career opportunities here are endless. You're, you know, it's a smaller area. You're not competing with as many people to get on projects. There's a lot of support. Here it's a really warm, warm, inviting feeling and I think you should weigh that um, just as much as anything else on paper. Vermont is a really special place and our program is, is made me the clinician that I am and I came to train here as a resident and I knew I wanted to stay and I'm so glad I did and I would choose this program again and again and I'm very happy with my choice. We'd really like to invite you to come check out our program at the University of Vermont Medical Center. Uh, I think it's a wonderful program. We have a great group of fellows. We have a great group of faculty. It's a supportive environment. And I think our fellows get great clinical and research training uh, that uh, doesn't compromise anywhere. So uh, please come and check out our, our website and reach out to us if you have any questions.